hello guys welcome to my video so a while ago i did this model and i had people asking me how i did the wrinkles now when let me um open this to overlay so now when you come to here and you go to the edit mode you see that the wrinkles are gone and not much um um vertices quads or vertices in on my model now i take it back Oops, sorry the laptop is now you see that um the wrinkles is back when i go to modifier you see that i've added one modifier which is the multi res modifier and this is what holds the wrinkles now this is the method method i've been using for over a year or two and uh, i thought maybe i should share it finally i should share it with you because this this method um i've been i prefer it rather than um just um modeling the wrinkles in or using um simulation it looks more precise and and realistic and you have more control over it based on the um texture of alpha you get so um let me just go ahead and show you how i was able to achieve it so now i'm going to go to a new scene that i've saved for you so now you can see that this has no multi res modifier so i'm going to add the multi res modifier add modifier generate and multi res modifier so with the multi res red modifier you need to apply um you need to subdivide it you need to subdivide it by let's say above um the subdivision of three because the the more you subdivide the uh, subdivide it the more detail you get but also at the cost of your um computer power all right so let me subdivide subdivide again subdivide um i'm going to give it the subdivision of four you can keep yours at three or even seven if you want if you know that you have a beast you can keep it at seven if you know that you have a descent between computer you can keep it at three so now i'll go to the sculpt mode on the sculpt mode what i want to do now is to create a new texture so here on the tool i, I scroll down i go to new and i click on new texture then um i'm going to apply the new texture but to apply the new texture i have to scroll down here texture and i go to structure and you see it gives me a space under the image under the settings i'm going to press click on open then i'm going to go to a folder where i have my textures by the way i downloaded i downloaded this texture a long time ago i don't know textures a long time ago i don't know exactly where i got them from but don't worry i'll link the textures in the description below so um i'm going to a folder wrinkles wrinkles alpha i think yeah so this is the wrinkles so i'm going to select one of these wrinkles um let's use this i'm going to select one of these wrinkles then open image so now that i open image i can just come here let us go back to this um brush 06 now you can see that the texture is here now it's showing so i can just start now adding in my wrinkles texture but you see there's no precision or control over it it just drops the texture as i drag it on the on the headphones so i'm going to control z control now to have more control over the texture and um give it a rotation and also a nice location you have to um make some settings you have to set up um some some things so i'm going i'm coming back here again then i'll scroll down to the stroke for the stroke i'm going to select uncode that's one setting we have to do and then um under the mapping here tiled you have to keep it at area plane so now when i come here and i select now you see what i have but the texture 
now in the alpha texture is a bit blurry um which like i said if you want to have more quality of the texture you have to increase the multi res resolution so i'm going to subdivide this to five um, my laptop is getting a bit slow right now because the multi res resolution um, is getting higher so now i'll go back to here and then um, this is somewhat better if you are still not satisfied with the um with the quality you can just keep increasing the multi-resolution till maybe to, to the value of ah, how did this go back to four all right so let's try this aha uh -huh. okay so if you're not satisfied with the multi-res resolution you can keep increasing it till you get the quality that you desire so let's go back here okay. that's one thing so now the other thing I, I need to do is um, play with the strength or control the strength at the top here. So I can, or you can see here also, you can also control the strength here. So decrease the strength based on the texture alpha you got. Um, you, you have to um, increase or decrease the strength. So for this, this texture alpha is really strong um, so for that. I had to decrease the strength so something like this a bit subtle you can see the wrinkles have been added in, but it's a bit subtle then you can also like all right here mm -hmm. now to invert the bump you can click on control then your left mouse button and then you see now the bump has been inverted that's one trick you can use to make to give a bit of a variation to your textures also you can add more textures so when you come to this place this is brush 06 you can add more but you have to to add more textures you have to make sure that you create a fake user so now creating a fake user is it will keep the data for you to whenever you open blender and you come here and you come to the um brush 06 you see them it has it's been stored if you don't um it's just like saving the textures so if you don't do this whenever you close blender and you come back um, you, you see that this is gone so now i'm going to create another text alpha texture by clicking on here and then i'll come to it sorry not here sorry forget this not here here on the texture I'm going to create a new texture but then i have to save this as fake user then create a new texture um you see i've added in a lot a lot of textures but just like i showed you once again if you want to add a texture you can come here open um go to where you start the textures wrinkles or something um you can add any type of texture maybe this open it yep and then also um save it so i'm going back here and then the texture yeah it's set to appear now i have to save it and then you see what we have so now you're just going to keep um just scrolling it like this just adding the the textures to where you want them just keep dragging it just keep dragging it so yeah you can keep adding them um remember to click on control left mouse button also to change the to, to to change the bump also you can click on several um more alpha textures to give it variation to give it to give the the wrinkles a bit of variation so it doesn't look one um also you can decrease the strength here for some of the alpha textures that are strong and then you keep this is what you keep doing this is how i got it um just keep adding some of the alpha textures to the parts till you have your wrinkles equally distributed to to where you want them some are a bit 
um, subtle, some are strong. So yeah, um, you've added wrinkles to your headphones without ever having to use the simulation method or literally modeling the wrinkles, which I find this as the best um, method of adding wrinkles to anything and in blender so yeah thank you for watching this quick video tutorial and if you would like to see more from me please subscribe um like and um maybe share with your friends that are also into blender also if you want to learn more about um how to use alpha textures um there's a tutorial created by um gabit media which i'll also put the link under the description so thank you bye